Whether you're welding a custom frame, a toolbox or tackling your first fabrication project, mastering the corner joint is essential. In this video we're going to MIG weld two common steel thicknesses which is 3 and 6 mil. We're going to be going through the settings, techniques and tips you'll need to get a clean strong weld without blowing through the thin stuff or under penetrating the thick. So here we're welding the 3 mil plate. It's mild steel and we're using 19 volts and 6.5 wire speed and we're using mixed gas 7525 argon CO2. We're welding this corner joint in the flat position with no root gap between the plates. We're going to rely solely on the heat from the arc to penetrate through the plate. As you can see here we've penetrated through nicely and the top side we haven't overloaded it we've got a nice round profile. So we're moving on to the horizontal we've still got a push angle on the same as when it's in the down and position but now we've had to drop our torch down slightly so that we don't get too much of an overload on that bottom edge. As you can see we're traveling really fast the key is to keep that wire dead center so that we're pushing that penetration through into the back side of the plate. So as you can see the profile is very similar to our down hands we've got no roll or no overlap on the edges and our penetrations come all the way through apart from that one little section where we may have traveled a little bit too quick. So now moving on to our 6 mil, we've got 20 volts and 6 meters a minute wire speed. The difference here is we've got a slight root gap of about half a millimeter just to enable us to get that penetration through now that we're working on thicker plate. As you can see the difference here is the travel speed. We're working a lot slower on this maintaining that arc keeping that wire dead center and allowing the pull to just blend and fuse those two edges away so that we get a nice rounded profile. So coming to the end you can see that fusions come all the way through with that little bit of a gap and if you're up for more of a challenge we've got you covered. On screen now are our vertical MIG welding videos whether it's a butt joint or a fillet weld these are really going to test your technique and your control. So get clicking and we'll see you over there. <laughs> 